five, four, three, two, one. This is a wide shot which shows our excellent speech and debate director, Spencer Waugh, going about his daily business. Now, I'm going to move in to do an extreme close-up on Spencer while he's doing his work. And that's going to require me to use my telephoto lens because I really can't get quite close enough to do it. That's a little tight. You'll notice, by the way, that I'm shaking the camera a little bit. I should bring a, a tripod with me to do it, but I don't have it here. Now, we're going to move in to do an extreme close-up on his hands. You can take. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to do an over-the-shoulder shot, which is also part of the sequence. It's going to require that I back out a little bit. Finally, we're going to do a medium shot. Which is Spencer overall at work. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, and we're interviewing Spencer Waugh, Director of Speech and Debate, and we're going to start in three, two, one. Spencer, thanks for talking to us. Can you tell us about this weekend's results from Simpson Speech and Debate? Uh, Simpson took its speech team to Eau Claire, Wisconsin, uh, where Assistant Director Katie Brunner uh, supervised and judged for the team. And uh, we had one student who came away with a top six finish, and that was uh, Lucas Monroe from Carthage, Missouri. Uh, he placed fourth in extemporaneous speaking. Excellent. And now you're getting ready for Nationals, correct? Yes. Okay. So tell us about Nationals, uh, where it is, when it is, and how, how do you think Simpson's going to do? Well, we're pretty excited. This is the largest squad we've ever fielded at Nationals. We have 28 students signed up to go. I just finished registering them today. Uh, we will leave early in the morning on the 15th of March and head for Lexington, Kentucky. I just checked the website. There are currently 75 colleges and universities registered. Uh, we're feeling pretty good. Uh, the best test for nationals came two weeks ago at the Gorlock Gala in St. Louis at Webster University, and our debate side of things uh, placed first out of 41 schools, and so we're hoping to, to repeat that if we can. Team goal is to be in the top five. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you to do one more thing for me, okay? I'm going to ask you to turn your body out of here completely and then just face me head on like that. Okay. Okay, and then I'm going to ask you... Uh, I'm going to ask you the question, and I'm going to give you a three, two, one, okay. and just wait a count, and then start answering the question. Got it. Okay. So the question, again, is a repeat, basically, of the first one, which is, tell us a little bit about the National Speech and Debate Tournament you'll be going to soon, and uh, how, you know, uh, uh, how do you think Simpson's going to do at this? So we'll start that in three, two, one. We have 28 students currently preparing to go to the national tournament in Lexington, Kentucky. We're excited about uh, this opportunity. We think it'll be our best national tournament ever. It's the largest squad we've ever fielded. Uh, so, we, like I said, we're going to be heading there on March the 15th, early in the morning, and then we'll spend five days competing. Most of the students are double-entered, both in speech and debate. Uh, we, we had kind of an early test of, of how the tournament would be for us two weekends ago when we competed at Webster University in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, there are debaters uh, placed first in team points out of uh, 41 colleges and universities, and so uh, if, if they can stay at that level of competition, there's a good chance to, to place in the top 10 or maybe even the top 5 if we're lucky. 
Okay, thanks. Leaving a little gap there so we can edit. Spencer, thank you very much. Perfect.